I mean, I was, I was teaching deep neural networks in university in the early 90s, right? And they, were, they ran very slowly then. The algorithms were quite similar to what we have now, but you just couldn't train big models and it, it took forever, right? So what you saw was advances in hardware led to advances in, in sort of tooling, which led to, led to tweaks of existing AI algorithms, which led to radically superior functionality, right? And we've seen that with deep neural nets. So I think, I think we're going to see a similar explosion in the next, say, five years with neural symbolic AI algorithms. We're using logical reasoning together with neural nets, with, with evolutionary AI so AI algorithms that simulate evolution by natural selection, which is the most creative algorithm we know of, it created us, right? I mean, so I think some of these other historical AI algorithms, which have more potential for generalization, for creativity, for imagination, some of these other AI algorithms, they're going to explode just as we've seen with deep neural networks. It's just that they needed a bit more hardware and different sort of hardware than, than, than neural networks did. And I think we're, we're going to see, for example, graph chips come out. There's already graph core, but we need things that are – graph core is good. It's graph processing on a chip, but it's, or, it's oriented towards sort of floating point-based graphs, as, as you see in graph neural nets. You're going to see graph chips that are optimized both for floating point and like discrete lo logical-based graphs. As we see these graph chips come out and get networked together on massive server farms, you're going to see an explosion in sort of hybrid cross-paradigm AI systems, which is going to lead to advances in general intelligence and, and computational creativity. And you're going to find a lot of the ideas that have been around a long time. Suddenly, like they're starting to do amazing, amazing things, just as convolutional neural nets that were out there in the 90s suddenly around 2014-15 started to do impressive things.